You're going to begin by safely raising and supporting the vehicle and draining the oil. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks if needed. If you are changing out pans and your oil level sender is fine, you'll want to swap it over to the new pan, red arrow. Use a flathead screwdriver and release the wiring connection clip, red arrow, and separate them. Use a T30 torque and remove the three screws, red arrows. Pull the sender straight down. Use care as even though you have drained the oil, some additional oil will spill out. When installing the sender into the new pan, always replace the gasket indicated by the red arrow. Use a T30 torque and remove the 23 screws holding the pan to the engine, red arrows. I like to leave one on each side in just finger tight until I am ready to remove the pan. Make sure the T30 is well seated. Even though these do not take a lot of torque, they can get filled with road grime and you do not want to strip them. There are several places on the pan where there are tabs or ears to help you pry the pan away from the engine. Red arrow. Never pry anywhere else and never between the mating surfaces of the pan and the block. If the pan does not come easily away, you have missed a screw. Pull the pan down and away from the engine. Use care again as even though you have drained the oil, there will be a surprising amount still in the pan. Remove the old gasket from the engine side and clean both mounting surfaces well. There is a small cutout inside the engine side at the rear, red arrow, where you will place the tab on the gasket, blue arrow. Do not forget to replace the two O-rings for the center mounts, red arrows. Give the pan a good cleaning and clean the mounting surfaces with a Scotch-Brite pad. Installation is the reverse of removal. Lightly coat the new gaskets with Porsche synthetic grease or equivalent. Install and torque the screws in order displayed in the image. Torque the screws to 13 newton meters or 9.5 foot pounds. Then torque the screws 1 through to 4 again to 13 newton meters or 9.5 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.